The head of the Roman Catholic Church in England says sites like Facebook and MySpace are leading to teens committing suicide. Archbishop Vincent Nichols believes teens are more interested in the quantity of friends than in their quality, and that this put kids at risk of suicide when those friendships break down. He says among young people, often a key factor in their committing suicide is the trauma of transient relationships. They throw themselves into a friendship or a network of friendships, then it collapses and they're desolate. Pope Benedict has a Facebook page. And recently, the Vatican introduced its official Facebook application, Pope to You, with a little numeral two. He's urging young people to use the internet responsibly. Good luck with that. All right. Um, Jeff Gardier joins the conversation. Nassim Contessa, Jonathan Capehart uh, here as well. Uh, your thoughts? Ms. Well, hey. my thoughts are just because he's the Archbishop Nichols and is a religious figure, we tend to poo-poo that and say, well, here's another moral leader telling kids what to do. He's so out of touch. But in fact, he does have a point. I think he overstates the point. I don't think Facebook leads to sure. suicide. There are kids who have transient uh, relationships. Two electronically plugged in. They need to have the proper balance. But he does make mm -hmm. a point. We need to be careful that these uh, virtual friends do not take over the personal relationships. But isn't that what is happening? That's not, that's not, that's not, the, 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 the problem is not there. The problem is that when you live in 2D space, Meaning you're a not, digital you're not, you exactly, work. you're living on a on a screen. We're not. Well, I don't, okay, well, I don't think I don't, I don't think we disagree on that at all. What yeah, we're so how do you manage that? What he so says, we you all believe that two, that two dimensional yeah. living yeah. as I, a life is not a, good for a human being, exactly. whether it leads to suicide or not. Well, I think I think the best way to balance that we know that kids are plugged into that. It's part of their lives, but it shouldn't be the major part of their lives. They do their homework by it. They do research by it. It's a way of living for all of us now. But we have to find the right. Balance. Were, weren't children too? You know, I mean, when I was growing up, the kids who were somewhat isolated and not having normal relationships were down in their basements playing Dungeons and Dragons. It seems like there was always a virtual world. Or reading so, comic books. Yeah, like I right. Was exactly. Up. I mean, exactly. it's just now it's a different way of living a, a virtual in a virtual uh, life. I, I'm hey, not Dylan. sure because because I, I have the impression that a lot of people would stay home and and and. and connect and chat on the web rather than just go out. And, and uh, my idea of, of life is meeting people. And that, have the right. human and that there are more people that are doing what Nassim's exactly. discussing, yeah. which is uh, oh, as absolutely. opposed to the, per the, the percentage are playing dungeon. I want to get Jonathan okay. in here. Go ahead, Jonathan. Yeah. Hey, uh, well, I mean, you can't have a conversation about Facebook and not allow me to talk about it since I'm a bit of an addict. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of my friends We're going to heal you. We're gonna, this is going to be a healing. What, what, <laughs> an intervention. Yes. But the problem, I think, is that I, d well, I don't allow Facebook to replace one-on-one -on -one friendships. Actually, leaving That's my right. apartment and and have, sitting across from a real person and having a real conversation. And I think that's the that is the danger here. Facebook cannot replace real friends. And these folks who allow Facebook to be their only way of relating to people, I think, set themselves up for for a really painful and isolated future. That's right. And we shouldn't condemn them because Contessa is absolutely correct. Uh, back in the day, we had Dungeons and Dragons. We had kids just like me, the nerds who read comic books right. all the time. Isolated. But, but isolated. But what we need to do is go in and rescue them. Make sure that we push them. Yassim, you're right. We need to push them out there and make sure that they have friendships with others, that they're mm -hmm. out there playing, that they're just not playing on the but, internet. I mean, so they know how to relate to other people. Are those, yes. I mean, Jonathan's not a socially isolated person. I mean, he has the ability to sit and carry on an interesting conversation normally. And, I'm and, and he is good looking <laughs> and a bit of a nerd. I have <laughs> to tell you that. So, Thank but, you, everybody. But aren't the people that you're talking nerd. about, nerd. <laughs> yeah. if, the, if these Square. kids are at risk of, I mean, eventually suicide because their online friends um, disappear, isn't that, these are socially isolated kids anyway, These, these right? are socially the, isolated kids, but we have to look yeah. at, we have to look at something here. Those kids who do commit suicide are kids perhaps who had some mental instability. Even though they may not have the mental health history, these were kids who, as you say, were isolated and there may Very have been some issues of depression. No, no, there's another thing. The, I I think that when you meet someone in person, the, 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 you have the chemistry, you have whatever is you activated. You read the body language and whatever, no, no, so on. Whatever is activated right. in your brain, okay, we don't quite understand. It's complex. Sure. Is 
uh, uh, good for you. When you correspond with someone on the web, you know the flaming wars. There's things people write on the web that oh they would boy. never say in person, mm -hmm. face right. to face. Yeah. Well, of okay. course. And so, so, that, that, uh, the, so that the type of relationship right. is negative. We're not it, talking about the digital people. universe yeah. allows human exactly. disengagement, which exactly. then allows and, assault and, 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 and racism and, and, and all yeah. the, anything and, else and, and, and lust. Not, and let's not forget cyberbullying. Big problem. Forty-two percent of our kids have been affected by cyberbullying. Some of those things, as we know, like Megan Meyer, have led to suicide. Yeah. So we need to be careful, yeah. and Archbishop Nichols does have a point. All right. Uh